Okay. Got Montana here. Not an easy find. Not an easy find. I actually had somebody from uh, the Toy Hunters or whatever they are. Arizona Toy Hunters Guild or something. I don't know. Somebody here in Arizona told me where it was at. I can't remember their exact Instagram name. Um, but they told me where it was at. Headed over there. Was able to get Mantana. Very excited about it. Got Mantana, but I also got 2000 He Man and 2000 Skeletor as well. Um, you can see that this was the only one, and so his package, you could tell the um, employee who opened it. I don't know if you can see that cut through it, but you could tell a box cutter went through it. But it looks like his comic is still intact and so is the toy so and he was the only one so we bought him anyway yeah he was um, worth it i mean he's not broken or anything so. if i find another one i'm gonna buy it just to keep it on the yeah. card um so pretty yeah. excited there's yep there's original mantana original vintage mantana and mine's pretty clean um i think he's a very clean figure i think mm -hmm. we did a good job mm -hmm. always love mantana i love that his eyes go boing and bug out of his head so i'm excited to see um what this, they did with this one. Yeah, what the new one does. Yeah, it looks like his eyes still bug out of his head. Eyes pop out. It says so in the back that his eyes do pop out. And you can see, I'm going to check the baby really quick. Because I'm being paged. But keep talking about Mantana. I'll be right there. So, I never actually had Mantana as a kid. I did have a few horde uh, figures when I was a kid, so... Um, I believe, I think, no, I thought maybe my cousin had him, but no, maybe, I don't think anybody had him, so I never actually played with him as a kid. Um, very cool looking figure though. As you can see here, right there, I didn't have Mantana as a child either. Yeah, but he's buckled, so. Okay. We and should be he is. I like the fact that this one. That one has a lot of leg. goodies on the back. Shows got the Cobra leg. Khan, Ratlore, Tongue Lashore, um, Grizzlore. There you go. It's got Hordak. Yeah. The back of this card kicks ass. Um, I really feel like um, I want to. I know that they showed Tongue Lasher. Yeah, because it's got Tongue Lasher. It's got King Hiss. Um, and we just showed Snout Spout, who also had King Hiss. But what I like about this King Hiss is he's like, look at, he's got his Snake Man underneath. Um, where the other King Hiss did not. So he's, it's cool. It shows that maybe they're going to come out with a King Hiss soon. Um, like I said, I'm kind of bummed that the worker cut through the card. Because you can tell, he, nothing's stolen out of the back. Um... I know, I'm not doing this like the professionals do. Where they yeah, get... the card's all beat up anyway. Yeah, compared. the card's all cut up. We'll find beat. another one. I will find another one, and I'll still keep this card. Um, so here comes his comic, and his comic is... even. It does have a crease in it where the box cutter was, but it's not cut. No. And this is my first comic from this line because... We have Snow Spout and we have Leech, but they come with their own um, comic, which was the Night of the Leech. So this is my first comic from this wave, which is Wave Nine. I'm pretty happy about that. And then it comes with this swappable parts page. I'll put all this on the blog so you can see further. But um, pretty excited. Um, I drove. We drove pretty far. We went like 25 minutes away. Just to find him. Uh, AZ Toy Hunters Guild or Toy Guild or something like that. I hate not giving somebody a shout out when they did that for me. I'm still looking for Robocop, but I have neither here or there to do with the Virgin. Did you just lose him? I did. I lost him, but that's okay. He's got plenty. Of, look at that. Look at his legs. I love the fact that his legs spread open. Yep. That's Hello. really cool. It does. Yeah, he's cool. So that is the one, because this guy, you can see he has four legs, right? One, two, three, four. There's two feet, two feet. But this one's actually spread out. And then the button for his eyeballs is in a different location. That one's on the back. His, so you get his weapon out. 
Did you leave his weapon in there? He had a weapon. I'd probably draw. Did I draw? It's, oh, on it's, on your, it's on your it's lap. It's on your lap. Um, so his eyeball button is on the back of his head. Oh, well, it looks like it's easier to operate. Yeah. And this guy's um, button is on the back of his back. Yeah. And yeah, it's definitely easier to operate because this one kind of gets jammed. But this one is, I don't know if it's just because of the age, though. Yeah, I think it's probably the age, too. Yeah, but their faces are the same. Chest piece is the same. The only difference really is the legs. Um, let's take a look at the weapon. Weapon is the exact same. Exact same. We well, actually, no, because look at the centerpiece. That one's connected. This one is not. Right. Well, this isn't See, connected either. It's, is it clipped? It's, it's clipped in. Oh, okay. So, oh, that one's already clipped in. See, so then you can like... Unclip it, right? It okay. It, you know, yeah, okay. So they are the same. Just thinner. It's yeah. thinner. That one's thicker in the middle. See? So... Um, they do, they're, li they're slight difference, um, and even the way this pulls back here, see how it's longer? His eyes don't stay, though. Not uh, like man, that man, yeah, they don't stay. Oh. You know? So, yeah, his pop out, though. Still pop out. Yeah, there is a slight difference in the weapons, too. You can see the length of this weapon is longer. It's got the two ball points. This is the vintage here. And this is the new one here. Um, so there is actually some variations in their weapons as well. Most of the Horde guys come with these like bow and arrow type. Of the cool thing is like these legs, they didn't, it's a heavy figure actually. Yeah, he's very But heavy. his legs actually have articulation all throughout his legs. His ankles are articulated, his yep, knees are yep, articulated. Yep, his feet, yep. So it's just like... They did a really good job on this thing, and I'm glad they did. You know, he's just really, really, really. I've really always cool loved him. Vintage Montana. Um, I was super happy to get him. Where did we buy Vintage Montana? I can't remember now. Um, I don't remember. You can't know, remember if he, he, he was because he's super clean. My my Vintage Montana is so shiny. Did we find him a sour apple? I don't remember. No, he was not a sour apple purchase. I'm not sure if you got him for me on eBay, or. Um, I don't remember to be honest with you. Um, or he also could have been a polar bear purchase. I know for sure Web Store and Mosquito, we got at Polar Bear. Yeah. Um, but I'm not positive on where we got my antenna. Um, his but, eyes seem uh, to bug out a little further too, don't they? Yeah, I think they yeah, do. Anyway. Yeah, in a way his bug out further than his do. And then also the back of the eyeballs. So his eyeballs are open in the back, vintage, but if you, you see that there's, these are balls. So, different mechanism. I think the older one sticks out more than the, the newer yeah, one, for sure. Yeah, it does, totally, it so. does. Um, well, he, he has a really like cool I, looking character, though. No, yeah, know? so cool. Super happy about him. I guess I still love my vintage one a lot. Um, I've used him in couple of bear pictures already. I know his eyes were bugging out when Miss Elizabeth took off her bottom of her skirt and stuff. <laughs> um, yes, and then this is the vintage weapon, which is longer. Yeah, he looks cool, though, but you can see he's a darker blue. Yeah. Because this one's minty, and so his blue is actually perfect. I think a lot of... I love my vintage Mintana. I think he's super, super cool looking. Um, so he's really... articulated at the waist too. He's swelled yep. back and forth. Look at him. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> his little legs move. You can see his ankles move. Um, his foot goes up and down. Do you see this? Like each foot is able to go up and down. Each foot. So he's got four feet. All of them do that. He bends at the knees. So he's really, I mean, super articulated guy for four legs and just really excited about him. Very happy with him. Yeah, um, he's but, definitely a good find. He's a good fit. I good was dying to find him because I was super happy when I finally got this guy. That's why I'm having a hard time remembering if I got him. I don't remember where we got him. I think it was eBay. I think you bought him for me off of eBay. If okay. I'm not, you'll have to go through your eBay stuff because I know for sure I got Web Store. Mm -hmm. 
and Mosquito at Polar Bear. Those okay. Are, and those are my two other Horde figures that I got right. there. I know you got Modulock on eBay. Yeah, I know that. I remember Modulock came from eBay, mm -hmm. but I think Montana did too. Um, yeah, I did not get him. Sour Apple, I did not get him at Sour Apple. Okay. He's so clean. He is super clean. Yeah, he's a... Look at those legs. I love him. I love him. Come play with Snow Spout. They can fight. Shoot him with his hmm. juices. Super. But they're both in the same wave. Um, I'm going to grab Snow... I know it's not a Snow Spout thing, but you can see on the back of the package that Mantana is part of this wave because... Or Snout Spout and Mantana go together. Yeah, because it's not shown on here, but usually every wave has two deluxe figures. And um, that's the deluxe figure. That one and Leech are the deluxe figure for Wave 9, because these are Wave 9. Never saw Wave 8 in the store. I'll keep saying that till the day I die, uh, because I never saw them in the store. I the think only the only one... horror figure that we're missing for the deluxe is actually... Uh... Uh, I think that's the Razor one. We only saw it a couple times and we never picked it up and I kind of wish we did. But saw. But saw, yeah. But saw. But saw Hordak. We never, never saw that one. We again. will. We'll so. get him though. We can, he's at a few stores that the we go to. The original Buzzsaw Hordak is really pricey. Yeah. I, I didn't why. know why we didn't grab him. I think we just, because yeah. we already had a Hordak and we weren't sure if he was an actual Origins character, like from. From an actual vintage character, because yeah. we never had Buzzsaw Hordak as kids. Mm -mm. Um, but the only one we don't have in this wave currently is this Pighead, but he's part of Sunman. Is Man. that his name, Pighead? Yeah, because he's part of Sunman. They just um, call him Pighead, though. Yeah, I never collected Pighead or oh, Sunman yeah. as a it kid. I do head. have the Sunman figure down there, um, but I never really. He's wicked enemy, wicked enemy of Sun Man. Yeah, he's the wicked enemy of Sun Man. You know, so I got lots of. So that's actually um, a custom that was done. That's not the Mattel Creations one. Um. So yeah, pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, definitely worth getting. He's. he's oh yeah, very, and we only paid seventeen cool. ninety nine yeah. for him at Target, yeah, which he's is really he's a really good. Uh, if figure. you look on Amazon, he's a lot more mm -hmm. because he's hard to get. There was only one. Mm -hmm. um, his box was totally destroyed in the back, but when you want him, you want him. You know, you don't want it, you don't want to give a shiz if his box is cut or not. Um, and his comic's still intact, so pretty excited about the comic as well. Sunman's actually featured in the comic. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Okay, probably because of Pighead. Yeah. They're just trying to do work with what they got. Because, yeah, we also got the the other two. The 2000 Skeletor. And he, I'll just show them real quick in the video. Even though I know they have nothing to do with Montana. They do in a way because they're part of the same wave. So, we got these guys as well. And their boxes are fine. Um, that's why I said I know it was a worker who had to cut through that. But yeah, pretty excited about Montana. Mm -hmm. um, almost everything's um, pretty close to what the vintage guy looks like, except like I said, the <clears throat> mechanism here is on his back. This one's on his head. A few slight differences in the weapon, of course, the legs. And the blue color. I'm going to put him up real quick so you can see. Because he's a super clean vintage figure. You can see that he's a. The Origins one's a um, brighter purpley blue, and this guy's more of a um, blue-blue. So, you can tell he does have four legs, but they don't come apart like his four legs. So, very cool. Very excited about him. Um, he's going to have to sit over here with my other... You're going to need to move your Transformers off of my Masters thing. When will you be doing that? He, they need to move out. They need to move out. <laughs> yeah, I've been moving them. Yeah, you've I'm, been moving them over into my Motu area. <laughs> I guess I can go put him with the horde right now yeah, on I the would. other side. Yeah, I will have to. Oh, because yeah, under the horde. Well, I know. Somebody's He's gonna, a horde. He has a horde himself. Somebody's out. hoarding all my side here of my, my master's How case. How far can we go with this horde name? Oh, I know. They always hoard. So, very exciting. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. 
pretty much yep. done with those guys. Now we gotta open all your Star Wars figures. Yep. Star Wars. Oh, stop. Eventually, <laughs> she's gonna watch the other rings with me. Well, no, never, never gonna watch that or the Hobbit. Never. 